Hey, how you doing? It's Jason Yun, Yun Strength Fitness Systems. In the kitchen today, gonna fix up a uh, healthy recipe here. What we're making today is a spinach and feta stuffed meatloaf. So uh, the ingredients call for two pounds ground beef. So we are using uh, some healthy ground beef, 90-10 fat, and we got two eggs, onions, tomato, garlic, spinach tomato sauce, oatmeal, feta cheese, and mozzarella. The ingredients called for two-thirds cup uh, breadcrumbs, but we're going to switch that out with oatmeal, and we're switching out the uh, dried onion mix with uh, real onions, and the tomato, or the ketchup, we're switching that out with the uh, tomato sauce, pasta sauce. So, let's get this started. All right. In a large bowl, you are supposed to put everything in a large bowl. Uh, it calls for two pounds of meat, two large eggs, two-thirds cupped uh, seasoned breadcrumbs. We're going to use two-thirds cup oatmeal. One envelope dry onion mix. We're going to do about one full onion. Two cloves of garlic. Quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Half cup ketchup. We're going to use the uh, pasta sauce. Three quarters cup feta cheese and three tablespoons sun-dried tomatoes and about 10 ounces of the frozen spinach. So we're going to put the uh, eggs down in here and then we're going to move on to chopping up some of the onions and the garlic. Okay, now we're going to cut up some, uh, cut up the onions and mince up the garlic. Okay. Uh, to mince up the garlic, what you want to do, uh, we've already got one set up to be cut up. So you want to take one of the uh, cloves, so this is a clove of garlic. I'm just going to put the knife over top, and then you're going to slam down. Alright, and that will release the uh, skin, with a little sheath on it. want to get rid of that, don't want to eat that. And then you're basically just gonna chop it up. All right. Well, the ingredients—the ingredients actually called for uh, Parmesan cheese, but all we have is mozzarella, so we're just gonna replace it. See how it goes. And I just chopped it up as best I could, and we're just gonna put that over into the big bowl with everything else. Uh, oatmeal, tomatoes, garlic, onions, two eggs, and the two pounds of lean beef. And then we'll put some of the uh, tomato sauce in there also. Alright, so we've got the, uh, the mixture, the onions, the meat, the eggs, oatmeal. Uh, tomatoes actually weren't supposed to go in the meat, they were supposed to just go in the feta cheese over there. But we're just going to have some extra tomatoes, nothing wrong with that. And the garlic's in here, you just want to mix it all up, make sure you get all of the ingredients good and steady. Alright, the next step after you mix up the uh, feta cheese and the tomatoes is you want to take your meat mixture, put it on your cutting board with some wax paper on the bottom, and you want to make a rectangle and approximately 10 by 6 inches, I believe, or 6 by 10 inches. So uh, we'll get going on that. All right, now that you've got the meat all packed in a rectangular sh shape, 10 inches by 6 approximately, uh, you're going to take the feta cheese and tomato mixture, spread it over the meat uh, to about 1 inch from the corners, and then you're going to put the spinach on top. Of the okay, got the uh, tomato and feta cheese all spread out over the meat mixture. Next step is to place the spinach over the top. All right, now that we got the uh, spinach on top of everything, uh, you're going to take the meatloaf and roll it over on top and fold it in half and make sure you're covering everything and there's no creases or cracks anywhere. So we'll get that going. All right, now that we got it folded over, no creases or cracks. Trying to get that. Uh, take out any uh, excess spinach that's spitting out there, and you're good to go. 
then we want to move it over to into the crock pot and cook this bad boy up. All right, now that we got it um, in the crock pot over here, we just want to take the remaining two tablespoons of the pasta sauce and spread it over. So get it nice and over, and then take a spoon or something and spread it over. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you want to cook it up. Cook time on low is 8 to 10 hours. Cook time on high is 4 to 6 hours. And it serves 8 servings. So we'll serve this up and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, and this is what it looks like when we're all finished with it. it smells awesome. And we're just going to cut it up and give it a try. And it just cuts through like butter. Very nice. Alright, we're going to give this a little taste test, see how it is. Very good. Highly recommended. Give it a try. If you try the recipe, let me know what you think. Rate and comment the video. Let me know what you think of the recipe. It's Jason Young. Talk to you later.